Hi uh, again, and uh, this is the ninth uh, video of uh, the Curtain Wall series. And in this video, what we will do, we will try to introduce a storefront over here in this part, in this wall. And uh, we will try to do two things. First, we will try to change its normal shape. We'll add a curve, an arc. And the second thing, we'll try to get uh, uh, some uh, alignment between the lines of this wall and alignment of the new storefront that uh, we will add. Okay, let's go to the ground uh, floor, zoom into this part, and we'll go to a wall architectural, and we will add a storefront. Yes, great, and uh, it's going to be a two meters, and we'll control. Let's control things over here. It's ground floor to the with a, a base offset of zero, up to the roof, and with a minus uh, 1,500 uh, 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 value as a, a negative offset from the top. And we want it to be at two meters. And okay, let's make it something like that. That's um, two meters in order to uh, control the, the uh, distance the real distance we will add a dimension as we did before and we can find that it is uh, 2500 and once we click on it we, this will be transferred automatically to a temporary dimension so i can say 2750 and i will get it uh, right now let's look at it as an elevation that's going to be the south elevation and you can see this is the shape that we got. Now, uh, I'll select the wall curtain like that. And once I do, I will say edit profile. And you can see the magenta line, which actually signifies the uh, profile of a wall. And let's zoom in, we we'll get the arc. We can start from here to here and add half a circle. And of course, Revit will not accept this because it's not continuous, so we have to delete this line. And then we'll say finish mode. Uh, there is an error, but it's not as, it's actually highlight this mullion and it says cannot create a, uh, a curtain uh, wall uh, mullion. This portion curtain grid is, it was placed on no longer exists. So delete the element. It's not a big deal. And as you can see, now it fits 100% uh, right. Now, what about the lines of these uh, things of the uh, storefront, a storefront and the exterior glazing that we added earlier? So what we need to do is to align, but before we do this, what we need to do is to select all of the mullions, all of the panels, all of the other stuff, and unpin them so it will be easier for everybody to work with. All you have to do is to uh, use and modify and use the align command and start aligning. aligning. There you go, and there is the lock that you can use if you want both of them to be locked to each other. Once one of them moves, the other will move as well. So we'll do this and then try to do that fast. Okay. And as you can see, there are redundant uh, of these. So what we can do, we can, yes, I don't know if it will work. It didn't work, so because of a uh, thing. And we need to delete this. And use the tab key in order to, this is an originally placed one. So we'll, we'll use the add remove segment, as we said in a previous uh, videos, it will give me a warning. So you shouldn't worry about it, but it's already aligned hundred percent. So this is what it should be looking at. There is a homogeneous between the two curtain walls, which we want. Thank you.